Are we rolling? Uh, Are you dedicating this to me? Yes. <laughs> Mysterious girl. Hey, hey, I'm Zainab. And I'm Mia. And welcome to another episode of Sprinkles and Spice. And today we're just going to chat shit. Free flow! Like it's yoga! <laughs> this is our yoga episode where Zainab <laughs> does... Mental yoga? Where Zainab does positions that I taught her to do. <laughs> this sounds <is> crazy. So <laughs> Yeah, so today we literally don't have a topic. We're just going to say whatever comes to mind. Mm -hmm, And mm -hmm. then we're going to have a very, very special guest joining us halfway through the episode. He's highly anticipated. Everyone who wants to see his face. Women are dying to know who he is. Women are proposing through the DMs. It's Tariq. I wanted to keep it a surprise. She's like, it's Tariq, you guys. It's Tariq. So yeah, for all of you who've been watching from the very start, if you're an OG listener, if you're an OG listener, <laughs> watcher, and you've heard us talking about Tarak, Tarak has come on a few times. Though. Not on camera, no. On camera, he has. Has, has. Have we done a face reveal? Yeah. We okay, have. well, once again, <laughs> <laughs> if you forgot, Tarak shaved his hair. And now he head. looks like an egg. <laughs> and uh, we we always complimented his hair. We're like, yeah. Tarak with the good hair. Mm-hmm. And then he shaved it off. Ayun <laughs> al <laughs> All right, well, what do you want to chat about first? Honestly, there's so much to chat about, I feel like. Yeah, we kind of haven't been updating each other. On purpose. Well, I mean, I've been updating. (laughs) Yeah, I'm, I'm, okay, so this is crazy, but I'm actually mysterious, but not because I'm trying to be, but because like, I just forgot. Like, I'm like, I'm like every day something, like 10 things happen in one day. And by the end of the day, I'm like, oh my God, I should have texted her like 14 things already. (laughs) And by the time I call her, I just want to hear about her stuff and I'm lazy and I forget. And I think, I'm mysterious in certain things. Yeah, yeah. But like generally, I'm not mysterious. I love details. We were literally talking about yeah. this yesterday where I was telling you like, I love details and you don't. I No, I love to know details. For me. <laughs> 100%. Like I need to know. Like tell me more. Like I want to be involved. And she just listens to me yap. Like it's and a I bedtime story. And I tell you story. my opinions yeah. and my thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> that I need. Yeah, please, guys. I pray, need your pray for Zidab. Pray for Zidab. It's hard pray out there. Me. It really is. It's also very hot. It's yeah, very so hot. I'm sweating right now. <laughs> Are you really? Speak. Yeah. Can I smell your armpits? Yeah. There's no. <laughs> really? Let me smell. Actually, I don't smell anything. Oh, it smells like a bit rosy. Really? Oh, but that's my uh, that's my moisturizer. Okay. Do you want to smell mine? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> It's so weird. I try to smell her armpits all the time. She's like, it can't keep them. Why did you keep, keep your armpits from me? Because you're weird. I'm not. I want to know. I feel know. like you would lick them. <laughs> <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Stuff for the world to know. <laughs> okay. You know what? I, people to know how weird you get. You guys, the other day, literally, we were walking at the mall. All of a sudden, she licks my shoulder. I want you smell this. I was like, what is this? <laughs> She's like, let me see if you taste as good as you smell. This <laughs> <laughs> is crazy already. Anyways, child. Child. So, Mia, tell us about Paris. You've been gone. Were you mad I left, actually? No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Were you actually mad? Not mad, but I was sad. You weren't mad. No, I wasn't mad because I understood why you had to leave. But I was sad. Mm-hmm. Very sad. Oh, in your hands. Oh, my hands are clammy. Mine are too. <laughs> Let's share sweat. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> my mom. This episode's so weird. My mom Tell us about your mom. My mom watches these episodes fully and like more than once, and she sends them to all her friends. Oh my this god, this is such a problem. <laughs> Please. I think I'm tired not to watch this one. Don't watch this one. I love you. <laughs> Tarek's showing us a lot of his feet today. <laughs> Put those away. You don't want Mia seeing them. <laughs> I play with them. Enjoy it while you can. 
Because next month, you can see them for $9.99 a month. <laughs> He's just going to hide his feet. Are you going to be wearing socks all the time? And if people ask you to take the socks off, you're like, you got to pay. $9.99? dollars $9.99. Dollars or KD? You want to see my spicy content? Go to my own. No feet finder. I mean, by the time this episode comes out, you're going to be back in Paris, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So right now I'm getting ready mentally for my childhood best friend's wedding, which is crazy. Oh. Iman. Iman. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We grew up together on the same floor. I love how I know your friends. I know. <laughs> yeah. Like which one? Which one? It? I know. I know them all. Because I'm like, no, Lehi's already married. Yeah. But then she's kid, doing her right? actual yeah. ceremony next month as well. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. It's right. nonstop. It's 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 my it's my best friend's weddings. You're next. You're next. You have to be by, by the order of what's happening. It's gonna be you. I mean, I might need to find a man first. Maybe <laughs> should we? Should we? Plug or I'll you? just marry myself. <laughs> Self partner. Should we plug? Should we plug Zainab? So Zainab, how tall are you? One seventy one. Is a one seventy one. So five seven. Yeah, that is five seven. Five seven. Is a five seven queen. She is a Sagittarius. She is looking for someone between the ages of thirty two. Oh no! Ah, come on, You're so young. No, well, come on. I'll do thirty-four, thirty-five. Okay. If I'm thirty-three, <laughs> and <laughs> what's your max? <laughs> um, look, <laughs> guys in their mid forties, you would think they'd be mature, but they're not. But they're looking for their mommy. Um, so I would say, ooh, I love a, a like a ten-year gap though. Oh, like yeah, maybe yeah, a fifty-year-old. <laughs> Okay, but you know That's what? Like we're talking about a uh, 13 year gap now. So, who has a father here? <laughs> if you have a single dad, I need um, like Zinip to your stepmother. <laughs> you can call me mother. <laughs> this episode is crazy. Guys, let us know if you like it, uh, us doing Not these us random pitching. episodes. <laughs> pitching you. All right, how about we promote Mia now? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he's like nope 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 i don't want to no, even don't even try it are you no but a uh, uh, real talk though are you not thinking of uh settling down anytime soon <laughs> um okay i'll tell you what i'll tell you what yeah i'm not against settling down okay i know i want to settle down mm -hmm. but i'm not first of all it's summer Okay. She wants a hot girl summer. I want a hot girl summer. <laughs> Should I be single for summer? Okay, live my truth. Um, but also, no, I'm, not, I'm like, I'm, it, that's like not a realistic way to be, right? If I meet someone that like matches what I'm looking for and I match what they're looking for and we're really like, like there's like a real connection, I could see it going somewhere, then 100%. Yeah. But, you know. I yeah, it's not something that you're pursuing. No, it's not something I'm pursuing or focusing on. I right like now. that though. It's uh, it's refreshing. We don't have time. Yeah. Like, no, no. like I mean, I don't even live in like one place full time. Yeah. So what I'm I'm like who am I where am I dating someone? Like, yeah. There, and there's so that takes off half the population. Half the people don't want to do long distance. The people that do, if it works out, it's gonna have to be like me flying and then them flying and. Like, that's effort. So I wouldn't also want to put that on someone right now. Yeah. You know? Do you feel like the the age, uh, expected age of marriage has increased recently? Like, because back in the day, like, when I was 28, it was like, you're a spinster. Also, I was 28 and divorced, so double whammy, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't think people expect girls to be married yeah. in their 20s anymore. And I'm like, if you're pushing 30, people are looking at you Expired. like, tick tock, tick tock. Like, you know, mm -hmm. your chances are very, uh, uh, or your options are slim. So I, I've noticed now, though, it's not as big of a deal, right? No, no. Like, it's actually really cool. Like, obviously, people will be like, oh, bad, it's not, not. But like, for the most part, like, no one cares. And no one... In my family, at least, like, I'm lucky that my family is, re like, they low-key don't want me to get married. Because they're entertained, you know? Like, yeah, they're like, we, we want to keep her for <laughs> as long as we can. <laughs> That's a whole yeah. other thing. You know, what's crazy is that I thought, like, I talked about this mm -hmm. before, where I was like, I thought I wanted to get married yeah. or remarried, I think, uh, in my late 20s, because I was scared of turning 30 and not being married. Because I was like, <gasps> divorcing? And I'm 30? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, nobody's going to want me. But like looking back, I don't think I was ready. I was just like 
craving the idea of like family and and like you know just having a partner but I don't think I was genuinely ready I don't think it was something deep down inside that I wanted but I feel like now now you do yeah now I feel it but the the funny thing is that like before I was approaching it with like anxiety Mm. where I was like oh time is running out I need to you know find someone I need to get married now it's more like I'm I'm really calm about it i'm like no if it happens it happens yeah but it is something that i'm ready for yeah yeah i think that's one thing that that's nice is that we're both in a very like if it happens it happens but obviously yeah. like y- you want kids and all of that and i think that's like something that you you take into consideration whereas right now for me i'm like uh i'm yeah i'm a kid i cannot be having kids <laughs> i mean <laughs> honestly for me as well i think one thing that was freaking me out is like obviously i have pcos i can't PCOS. stop talking about it enough because and it affects fertility mm. and you know like when you're in your 30s uh but now um tangent um a lot of people are talking about freezing their eggs i'm i'm actually considering it but you know i'm also worried about like my chances of getting pregnant you know yeah but like being very low so i think about that too but honestly at the end of the day i'm like if god is you know wills for me to to have a child if i'm meant to have a child i will no matter what happens Mm -hmm. i will if i'm not meant to then you know adoption is always an option yeah that rhymed yeah i noticed i was like okay (laughs) eminem adoption is an option (laughs) (laughs) what were you gonna say no i agree i was gonna say yeah but like there's so many options and also a lot of women nowadays have kids a lot older and it's fine. Like, yeah. I, I do think that the media sort of like uh, acts like, oh, my God, after 33, having a kid is crazy. It's yeah. like, I, I don't believe Do that. you think about that, though? Like, if I have a kid at like 35, then, you know, by the time I'm 60, my kid's going to be this age. Like, do you think about these things? I used to. But like, I like I used to when when my friends started having kids. Yeah. So Leigh. And uh, my friend Dina, like, they both had kids quite early on. And so I was like, oh, my God, like, that's crazy. Like, they're going to be such young moms. And then I was like, oh, that's so cool. The kid's going to be 20 and they're going to be in their 40s. And then I realized, I was like, yeah, but they're, they, they're both very, like, they both love to stay at home and chill. Like, yeah. even if they're 40, like, it's going to be like they're not, you know. <laughs> their, their personality is already at that age anyway. Yeah. Whereas I feel like I'm a very, like... Like we're insane, Zainab. Yeah, we can't I stay in one place. want to be out all the time. Like I'm gonna be at the club with my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody called Child Protective Services. <laughs> I'm taking my daughter party. I'm teaching her the at myself. seven years old. Her daughter's at the club. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be. She's gonna know all the DJs. She's gonna be in the DJ booth. She's gonna be like, "Oh, I love this song. Let's go." <clears throat> um. So like, I don't care because I'm like, it, it's not about the age. Also, I had an older dad, and yeah. my dad was more active than any of my friends' dads. My dad was out. I was not getting enough sleep, I think, at this stage. Yeah. So it's like... Our dads are kind of the same. Yeah. Yeah. Like, my dad was the first to wake up, and he would stay up the, the latest. I was yeah. like, this is actually insane behavior. Like, he <laughs> cannot get enough of being out and about. So I feel like, yeah, like, it's it's not really about age. It's about yeah. your your vibes. Um, like. You know, the other day, uh, my friends were asking me, they were like, uh, they were like, Zainab, imagine if you had gotten pregnant the first year of your marriage, you would have a teenager by now. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, imagine if I had a, like a 12 or 13 year old child right now. Can you imagine me? I, actually, I would be such a cool mom. I actually though. can. I'm I think you would have been a really. Mom. <laughs> no, but you would have been. Like, I actually, yeah. I think you would have, you would have been a, you know what? It's funny. I think of you as a mom to a boy. I feel like I'm going to be a boy mom. Yeah. Even though I would love to have a girl because, oh my God. I feel like girls are so cute. I know. I I have a feeling I'm going to be a boy mom. I really do have a feeling I'm going to be a boy mom. I think so too. And then I'm going to dress them <laughs> in like pink and put bows in them. <laughs> <laughs> Until he's like two and people say, like, is that a boy or a girl? And you're like, guess. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong answers only. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I actually want to talk about something that's like not bows and happy and, and, and woo. Um, it's not happiness coded. So... <laughs> 
Can't nothing, speak. Not happiness coded. Can't speak normally. Skill issue. <laughs> Skill issue. Thank up. you, Asya, for shout out, Asya, <laughs> shout out Asya for the Gen Office saying that I will never stop. Are you using chat? I haven't used it yet because you know, like I went to sleep yesterday. Yeah. I still don't understand how chat is meant to be used. It's the it's breaking the fourth wall. Like yeah. For example, chat. She doesn't understand the uh, fourth wall. <laughs> I understand fourth wall. Uh, she doesn't understand chat. Okay. All right. Got it. Okay. <laughs> anyways. Anyways. Um. So as you all know, we are a self self made <laughs> self made <laughs> so self funded self funded podcast we are for the girls by the girls we love the girlies but you know what we do not love how the people here work when it comes to sponsorships like we put in honestly guys we put in our heart soul time shmoneys into Which this is so hard to be consistent because mm. we know there are a lot of people who look forward to it and when we take a break they're like no we want a new we took one break we took one week <coughs> off and yeah. people DM'd us saying, did you guys quit? Come and back. on top of that, people are like, uh, you know, they're like, Mia, come back to Kuwait. Yeah, yeah. We need Mia in, in Kuwait. We need Mia in the studio. And we try to cater to that. But I don't think people understand how, like, it, difficult it is sometimes. And, yeah, and it's and expen it's like expensive. Like, me being here, like, I had to, guys, it's not just, like, fun and giggles. Like, I had to go because I don't even have a place here. So it was like... It was just too expensive being here full time when I don't have yeah. like, you know, like the life here that would facilitate that. So whenever we reach out to sponsors, I think at first we'd hear them saying, oh, we want you guys to be more consistent, which yeah. was fair. We just began. And I think the disheartening part is that like they reach out and our hopes are high and we're like, oh, my God, you know. And it's a lot of these uh, girls who work in marketing that are fans of the pod mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who are reaching out to us. And then they're like, oh, we're just going to wait until you have more followers. Oh, we're just going to wait until you guys, you know, are more consistent. And I'm like, we're like 30 plus episodes in. Yeah, this is my job now. Like <laughs> I'm full po time podcasting and Zainab is full time podcasting, but also full time working as like uh, marketing. No, I'm uh, I don't know. I'm like a jack of all trades. I like to think of myself as like a creative producer. Mm. um but i i mean that's kind She's of a like, creative you know, i'm a creative <laughs> um but i'm working at an agency with the uh, shahabi shout out shahabi who is a shout guest out mr shahabi mr shahabi if you haven't seen the episode it's the valentine's day episode he was our both our valentine yeah so <laughs> <laughs> and we, we shared beat a man. him with the stuffed bear <laughs> yeah we beat and him the flowers <laughs> no um no but we we're working together yeah and uh, I, I'm enjoying it. Mm. It's a lot of fun, but I'm doing that and the pod. Yeah. So it's <laughs> exhausting. <laughs> and I'm like waking up at 6 a.m. to go work out. Yeah. And then at 9 p.m. you come like, you're like oh, I have to go I'm sleep. So <laughs> no, no, no. There was a day where I was Didn't on the verge of tears. Didn't you sleep at 8 p.m. one day? Yeah. Yeah. I was on the verge of tears because of how tired I was. Because literally sometimes my days, like I wake up at 6 a.m. and then I'm like, on, 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 like rush, 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 until like 8 or 9 p.m. And then I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> and then it's like rinse and repeat. She works hard to feed no kids. She works hard, she works hard to feed the me. Money. I work hard to fund this podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's what I think that's and why we're we're so sad. Like, yeah, because sort of the the response we're getting be, of, of, of people being like, oh, but we want you guys to have more followers. Like, first of all, respectfully. We've never bought followers, which a lot of people do. We have never even had a sponsored push, which we're going to start, you know, yeah. having sponsored All pushes. our views, our followers, everything is purely organic. Yeah. And what I love about the pod is that I feel like we've created our own little community. Yeah. Which I think is more valuable than having more followers. You Same. know what I mean? And I love our, our followers. I love all of them. Same. And it's, and it's so outdated because it's like, I value the community we've built more than I'm so sorry, but like having like some like 10, 20 K followers, like it doesn't matter if, if these people don't connect to you and you don't connect to them. Like one thing that I actually miss about being Kuwait is going out and, and seeing you guys and like, like the spam fam, like before that I literally go she's, out. It's spam fam. She's trying so hard to make it a thing. It is a thing. <laughs> uh, spam. But like, yeah, I'd go out and I'd run into the girlies and we just chit chat and it feels like we all kind of know each other because yeah, we kind of do, you know, yeah. like, this is like very much like a family vibe. So I think to hear people be like, 
oh, we'll sponsor you once you have this and once you have that. I'm like, this is not a business. This is this is our life. I think the other part that um, bothers me is that like literally we're a local podcast mm. and we're filling a gap. I understand that we're English speaking, an English speaking podcast. So maybe some sponsors are like, ooh, but not the the entire population is not solely Arabic speaking. You yeah. know what I mean? There are other people who, you know, you, you, you could be marketing to or whatever. But the d- most disheartening part of it is that we're a local podcast. You get approached by local brands and then they would say these things like, um, oh, let's wait until they have more followers. Oh, let's wait until they ha- they're like, you know, m- more like cemented mm-hmm. or they have more episodes. No, no, no. And it's like, guys, we literally need to fund this pod. We need mm-hmm. to sustain it. And it's like, it's just like, isn't, are we supposed to be supporting each other? Like local sports local. Yeah. So it's like, you guys are just so into like this capitalist mindset and it, it just doesn't make you feel good as a a creator, I guess. Mm. Yeah. And that's the thing is like, we mentioned it on the Aussie episode, like there's so much instability in, in working as a creator. And as someone who didn't work in the creative field before that, like I did take a huge leap and everyone in my life was like, are you out of your mind? You're leaving this job to create a yeah. podcast. Like, are you insane? And I know a lot of my friends probably, you know, behind my back were like, Ooh, don't know what she's doing there. But it's like, I believe in this. So I think whenever we get people like saying things like, oh yeah, we want more followers. I'm just like, then you don't get it. Like you actually just don't get the point yeah. of this podcast. It's about the community we're building and and the message we're sharing with each other. Yeah. And I think every single follower that we have truly is a fan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or like relates to the pod or you know what I mean? Connects to the pod in a, in a, in a very beautiful way. And, and I think that's more valuable than the number of followers that we have. Yeah, so we if brands people... cannot see that, that is such a shame. Honestly, like uh, no shade. It's it's such a shame to see how the, you know, the industry is. Yeah. It's so commercial. Yeah, because we don't have people that follow us just to look at us and hate on us. And that was something that I was quite concerned with at the beginning. I remember we talked about it. We're like, oh, what if people just follow us to like look and talk, chat their shit? But actually... Th- they don't last. They don't I mean, maybe they do. Maybe some people do, but... Sure, but, like, overarchingly, I would say, like, it's literally just a community of girlies. And some yeah. men. Which I don't hate you guys all. No. Some of you. I like the, the, the men I know, I'm who, so happy. Yeah. We, you know, we're, we're... Every day, we're actually growing in the male population. I'm like, you guys are listening. Yeah. You guys are I actually... Uh, a few times, I would go to meetings, and I would see men, and they're like, oh, sprinkles and spice. Mm-hmm. And I love that when I, like, walk into meetings, and people are like, oh, sprinkles and spice. And one time it was a guy and uh, he was like, uh, uh, he was like, I watch you guys. And, and then he said something about his girlfriend. And I was like, oh, are, do you watch us because of your girlfriend? He's like, no, no, I genuinely tune in. And he was like, I like what you guys talk about. And I was like, wow, I actually love that, that yeah. a man actually is tuning in and, you know, watching us. Yeah. And enjoys the content because obviously like we're, yeah, I know we're pink and orange and traditionally maybe it feels like it's more geared towards women and we're girls i mean it is let's who are we kidding like it it, mostly yes it is because at the end of the day we are girls so we're coming from a female perspective but also it doesn't mean that you can't learn anything that's the thing is like yes we're by the girls for the girls but it doesn't mean that you can't learn about the girls you know and i think so a creator had dm'd me a couple weeks no a couple months ago now telling me like he he really enjoys the pod and I was like, oh, but why don't you follow it then? And he was like, oh, because, you know, our community would act weird yeah. if I did, which I completely understand. And I validate, like, you know, your feelings and, and concerns are real. <clears throat> but I was happy to know that he felt that through watching Sprinkles and Spice, he learned more about the female creators that he was following for years. I was like, oh, it's nice. You got to see how they feel in their struggle, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And I, I know there are a couple of guys, too, who uh, said that they... They they follow us, they watch our content, but they don't want to like it because they don't want to be seen liking our our content or interacting with it or commenting or even sharing or reposting because they're afraid of, you know, the reaction that they're going to get. That can never be Tariq, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to bring Tariq on yeah. in a bit because I want to hear what the men from your end are saying, Tariq. <laughs> Any housekeeping less? I don't know. What else do you want to talk about? 
think I just want to end that little chapter by saying thanks to the spam fam for sticking with us, though. I love this spam fam. Same. Yeah. You guys were all best friends. We're all literally internet besties. Honestly, it's the only thing that keeps us doing it and putting more episodes mm. out there is because of the response and the interactions and the messages and the comments that we get from the spam fam. Yeah. fam. I can't even say it. No. Nope. <laughs> spam fam. fam. Skill issue. <laughs> can't speak skill issue. <laughs> love it oh my god no yeah thanks you guys thanks for sticking with us and hopefully we find some sponsors sooner rather than later yeah so i can keep justifying this to my family no, and honestly i would love sponsors that are aligned with our values oh 100 you yeah. know um but if, if a sponsor is gonna be like um mm, i'm just gonna wait until they have more followers like i like them but i'm just gonna wait until they have more followers that's just demotivating yeah, i don't so know if we're gonna get any sponsors after this because they're gonna be like these girls are shitting on sponsors i don't care though like this yeah. is this is respectfully like if you are the kind of sponsor that just wants to see numbers and doesn't understand community yeah respectfully we don't really want you i mean anyways with that being said i think it is time for us to bring Farah. Farah. and now ladies and gentlemen by popular request, the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only, Tarek. The dark side of the force is here. Tarek. How are you, Tarek? Look, I am your father. <laughs> Look, I am your Shinhil? I'm your father. Yeah, you're the pod father. <laughs> you are the pod father. <laughs> Please welcome the pod father to his own podcast. <laughs> oh, it's kind of weird, like recording yourself, In like like recording a podcast that like, like being in a podcast that you record yourself. <laughs> Sorry, technical issues. We're not gonna talk about. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to address. Nobody knows. No, no one is gonna know. Knows. Yeah, but uh, Tarak has his own podcast as well. Yeah. Namaste, homies. Namaste, homies. Namaste, homies. Namaste or a namago. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how I keep making the same joke. <laughs> Do we keep laughing? Ah, it's so funny. Are you funny or are we just that delirious? <laughs> I think we're just... Wait, what's going on? Was I filmed upside down? No. <laughs> it was just giving me... A vertigo? Yeah, I need to see it the correct way. I get vertigo all the time. We know that. <laughs> all right, well, we invited Tarek. Wow, you could care less. <laughs> <laughs> we invited Tarek on this episode, first of all, because... We want you guys to see, uh, <laughs> uh, to meet our pod father. Should I pitch, <laughs> have it, should I pitch him for the... Yes, let's pitch okay. Tarek. Tarek, Ladies, how, so, how tall are you? I'm 176. Tarek is a 176 Kuwaiti national. <laughs> how old are you? 41. Who's 41 years old. Tarek does not like long walks on the beach. In fact, Tarek wants to chill. <laughs> <laughs> Tarek, what are your interests? My interest. Anime. Uh, Other than Korean running TV, your Korean podcast. dramas. Uh, uh, okay, well, this is what I watch. I watch anime and Korean uh, dramas no, I because I canceled the whole entertainment industry <laughs> <laughs> due to what's happening and other things. <laughs> and then, uh, everyone is an R. Kelly. Tariq also everyone likes- is an R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to get flagged. <laughs> uh, everyone. <laughs> Tariq also likes barefoot shoes. And he enjoys going to the gym. Barefoot shoes. Yeah. Yes, I've been barefoot for uh, a year and a half now. You don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean barefoot shoes? These are barefoot shoes. It's, oh, really? It's, oh, it's, it's ergonomic. Uh, the oh. toe box is bigger. Oh. And barefoot shoes, the toe box is bigger. And Healthy. the uh, padding is very minimal. It's like five milliliters. Mia, you really are paying attention. Mm-hmm. All right, so tell us uh, a little about the girl that you're looking for. <laughs> the woman that she is. The woman is. that you're looking for. Because you know what? Oh. I'm not a girl. <laughs> not yet a woman. <laughs> if I had to sum it up in three words, <laughs> ride or die. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Ride or die. 
and whatever that entails. Ride or die, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> well, uh, I we brought you on because we heard you had some notes or complaints. Yes. He has, he has, he literally has his notes. Show us your notes. Yeah, for those um, <laughs> listening, he's pulling out a book. A he's whole notebook. literally pulling out a book. All right, tell us it's your complaint. It's my bullet journal. <laughs> that is not bulleting. <laughs> do you of- still do that, the bullet journal? That was so trendy like four years ago. Oh, well, I got it to start, like, when you go online and you see what people are doing, I'm like, okay, Allah, I bought <laughs> everything to bullet journal, but it was, like, too much. <laughs> too much. This is so thought encoded. Like, he gets so into something, he gets so specific, and then he's like, it's it's too much. Too much. <laughs> uh, there's too much effort into bullet journaling, and everyone is trying to make it look so good and curated. What is bullet journal? It's basically a journal and and the notes on it is like you write notes on it's not a blank page there's like little dots mm-hmm. and basically like you you can create so much with one page but it's so annoying. What do you mean? Uh, I would uh, never okay, do okay. it. Okay, uh, okay. Essentially bu- bullet journaling is an easy method created by someone who had Too ADHD. Much free time. Uh, his his name is Ryder Keller. Mm. So it's a uh, very easy way to organize your notes and life. It's literally anything but easy. Yeah, no, no, you it, 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 no, that no, it's no, too complicated. No, it, the original system is very easy and look very bare people, bones. Look at how people took it way too far. Is it? But the internet happened and everybody took Keep it to scrolling. the extreme. Keep scrolling. Oh, wow. it, it's a lot. Mm. It Who has the lot. time? Like, I, if I'm going to take notes, it's going to be on my iPhone. <laughs> and I'm going to On the forget. notes app yeah, on my I'll, iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it's the hand paper connection. It's something tactile. So. <gasps> Could not care uh, less. <laughs> no, I like journaling. I like writing mm. my thoughts. Journaling, like like you said, the hand paper connection. Like, it's, <laughs> it's more uh, it's too fulfilling. Much. Like, I, I tried because Apple now has a new journaling app. Mm-hmm. I can't. I tried. I tried to journal on it. And then it sends me like, for example, I leave the gym and it's like, do you want to journal about your gym session? Saying what? Why are you so involved in my life? Uh, I had a gratitude journal okay. that lasted for uh, three days. Uh, no, because I'm grateful for the exact same things every single day. <laughs> Oh my God! Have you have you heard of this book called The Magic? Oh yeah, it's by the same writer of uh, uh, The, the Secret. Secret. Oh. Yeah, and it's nope. uh, literally all about gratitude. But they make you um, write like uh, uh, points about what you're grateful for on different aspects of your life. So, like sometimes it's money, people, whatever. So it kind of helps with uh, helping you identify what to be grateful uh, uh, for. Uh, if you're not. I- would rather scroll on TikTok than just of sit course. there and write of course. everything I'm grateful for. Linda, sometimes it gets too hard that you go to YouTube to just like get answers from people. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what am I grateful for Even today? Your gratitude, you're cheating. <laughs> right, Linda, no, because you see people like have pages of things they're grateful for, and I'm like, uh, I'm alive. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Oh my god, you should have seen my gratitude journal. I was literally grateful for everything. <laughs> I'm grateful for the sun and the stars and the moon. And the moon. <laughs> my gratitude journal. I'm grateful for my cat. High speed Wi Fi. And matcha. And matcha. Yeah, and but yani, people go are too extra with things that yeah. they like. Yeah. Yani, I followed someone on Instagram when I became a vegan. Like, you were vegan? Uh, I was vegan for nine months. <laughs> what? And then you make fun of vegans? No, no, no. You were no. telling us how like... <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not about veganism. So it's like uh, uh, vegan meditation, <laughs> the whole sphere. Okay. And then, of wellness. Of wellness. So I was following this guy. He's into like meditation. Okay. So the other day he put... Uh, Ad for uh, CBD. He's like, I take this to calm my anxiety down. <laughs> so I wrote, What's the meditation for then? <laughs> he blocked me. <laughs> Your laugh like, was so prolonged. It was. Uh, 
I don't really comment negatively, but my comments hurt. That's a lie. That's a lie. You don't comment negatively. All you do is comment to himself. No, no, like like commenting on it. No, he just says that loud. Yeah. Best like when I do comment, like I comment with the truth, and the truth hurts. <laughs> How many times have you been almost canceled? <laughs> uh, way too many times. In uh, real life or online? That sometimes, like, okay, so that is the I create role. content that I know is going to piss off a few people, but, but then I'm like, I don't care. Like, you really are the biggest troll. Mm. It's fun. It is fun. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it is fun kind of trolling people. Because <laughs> people sometimes get really so easy. Like, like I'm fun in the DMs. I'm really fun. Yeah. yeah but yani, like uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's DMs Tarak? Who's my, DMs my, my are friends. you slightly? <laughs> <laughs> my friends DMs. <laughs> is that? Uh, like if they screen capture anything that we have uh, cancelled a little. Wow. Mm. Not shocked. All right. Tell us uh, your complaints. Tell hey, us your hey, points. Hey, Let's my, go my, over my your complaint, notes. Yeah, so, so. Uh, you said that men are not approaching women. Yeah. yeah. Where's the lie? Hmm? Where's the lie? <laughs> okay. So there is a reason behind it. Okay? They're weak. And uh, uh, the reason is social media. Okay. So there's a thing called dopamine. <laughs> it's a neurotransmitter in, that everyone has. And uh, dopamine controls your drive and motivation. I love how these man's playing dopamine. <laughs> <laughs> For those who okay. don't know. <laughs> oh, l- okay, uh, let's sidetrack and let me explain mansplaining. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Is it, if, I was waiting for this moment. Okay, so if a guy... Is taking his time and mansplain. It's because he likes you and he wants to prolong the conversation. So you're saying every <laughs> so man who's ever mansplained to me likes me? Yes. Even at work? Yes. So when a man was telling me to copy, control, see, he liked me? <laughs> okay. Uh, he wants to linger in your presence. Think of it this way. But what if I uh, Okay. Let, let, if you think about it, okay. Men and women are different. And what you like and what he likes are totally different. For when he finally finds a subject he can talk about, he's going to stretch it out. <laughs> Maybe some men, but I don't think all men are mansplaining because they like girls. I think some men like mansplain the sound because of their voice. It? they like the sound of their voice. Okay, some of them are narcissistic. What percentage? 90%? <laughs> <laughs> but, but you need to differentiate between who... Wants to prolong a conversation with you, <laughs> and who doesn't? Just an asshole. <laughs> All right, so dopamine. Okay, so dopamine controls drive and motivation. So when we scroll through social media, it's getting depleted. Okay, so instead of going out to meet girls, I don't need to because I already got my dopamine hit by scrolling through girls on social media. Yeah. Uh, how many times have you said, uh, I'll do a diet starting Sunday? Okay, we didn't have dinner yet. Start today. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like we always keep delaying things because we deplete our dopamine. So we don't have drive mm. and motivation to do things. That's okay. why we don't approach so because you're getting your fix from scrolling. Yes. And you think you have so many options. <laughs> it's called decision fatigue. <laughs> <laughs> and in reality, they have no... Uh, they uh, it's not my Literally. fault, you're beautiful. <laughs> Are you not beautiful? <laughs> no, but, you know what's so funny? is like guys act like, oh my God, I have so many options. None of these girls are responding to your DMs, sir. Sir, you don't have options in reality. You have no one. No, and that's like, what we were saying. We were like... That men online have a an abundance mindset, and then girls are like scarcity, scarcity mindset. Alash, babe, what scarcity? These men are here. The, you don't even want these men. In like ten girls DMs at, at a time. He's putting hard eye emoji on every single thing. Or like her dad's funeral, her selfie, 
her dog, her matcha. He doesn't know literally, what he's putting hard I, eyes on. I had a guy who did that, like, would like literally every single one of my stories. And I'm like, it is annoying, but thanks for helping my algorithm, King. <laughs> but also, when they just like your stories, I'm like, tell me you're married. Tell me you're married. Like, yeah. you don't want him to see that you're no, like, and it's myself. like, it's the laziest way to approach a girl because it's like, like, do less. Do less. Just liking every single one of my stories, like, you literally have no personality. Men used to hunt, and now they put a laughing emoji at your story. It's <laughs> disgusting. Or no, hard eyes. Or I, fire. You know what I really, I find so interesting? And Tarek, I really want your take on this. Th- these guys that respond to your stories almost every single day, and you have never responded back. Oh, and they, they talk to keep, themselves? Yeah, yes. but, and they mm. keep going at it and liking and commenting even on your pictures sometimes. I'm like, I have one of those. Me too. <laughs> no, he doesn't comment on my pictures, but he... He's been talking to himself, I would say, since uh, October of last year. <laughs> yeah, I've had one. I'll, I, I'll guess I moved to Kuwait and we started the pod. Found me, I think, through the pod or through you. And it's been it's been a year. It's yeah. now it's officially been a year. There is a guy who is talking to himself in my DMs and then how well he switched to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. He got tired of getting rejected there. Uh, and then he switched here. back to me. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. Yeah. What, what, what is this? Please give us your take <laughs> on this that. behavior. Explain that. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Even thought of like, I don't. I can't. I, 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 can't. I get replies on my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not claiming these men? <laughs> no. <laughs> no one is. All right. What, what else did you want to say? Do you want to defend your kind? Not really. Okay, okay. So, so I have something here that we didn't talk about. Okay. And then, uh, okay, so let's talk about masculine energy. And then, masculine energy is strong, confident, calm, collected. Okay. Okay. If he's screaming, that's bitch energy. <laughs> <laughs> if a man is loud, that's bitch energy. So let's differentiate between the two. <laughs> <laughs> a lot I of these. I better not spit my water <laughs> out this episode. And uh, don't watch red pill content and call it masculine energy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what is your take on Andrew Tate? I think people who like him or men who like him are angry and believe that we live in a matrix. Because they don't have a Bugatti. <laughs> and they blame the system for everything because they're in the matrix. <laughs> what? My, 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 like, uh, I don't get him. Like, I'm not going to get advice from him. But that, that's the thing that a lot of men, like, he garners boys, boys. such a. Yeah, boys. I know a mm. lot of young boys as mm-hmm. well. He garners him, yeah. such a huge following. And he he's being idle. Well, I don't think he is now. He's not really a hot topic anymore. No, he's he's a dead he, now. Yeah, he's mm. no. I saw this um, uh, post or video recently where he's claiming that he's living in a castle, and then people did their research, and he's literally like in a like the, not an Airbnb, but like this uh, hotel where you can rent a room that looks like a castle, and he's like, I have my own castle. <laughs> like, why should I take he's life? A man. Ad- <laughs> why should I get life advice from a pimp? Actually, and he's an actual pimp. Yeah, who's uh, now? What is he wanted for sex trafficking, or I've he got out known. of sex trafficking? Uh, I don't know. Technically, what he's doing and his business plan is <laughs> the definition of girl boss. Oh my ST. god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so can we not say? Madri uh, Adi. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the other day, when uh, we did our feminism uh, episode with some, Hassan, with Hassan. Hassan. yeah, shout out Hassan. Some uh, guy sent me this uh, this reel, <laughs> and he was like, um, he's making fun of of us like being uh, feminists, and he's like, oh, girls are taking feminism too far, no, 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 whatever. And it was like a video or like a picture of like bags of cement, and it was in Arabic, and it said, uh, "Wanted a woman who believes in equality and uh, uh, and is independent." Uh, to carry two tons of cement up five flights of stairs <laughs> and i'm just like why do men think that women like 
when when we say like oh we're independent we're feminists no 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 this is what, the kind of shit we, that we want to do like stop stop I do not want to be can- listen I I just want to put it out on the record yes I'm a feminist I want equal pay I don't want to be you know like demonized for doing the same things a man does yada 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 use your brain um I don't want to be carrying things. I don't be yeah, opening my because door because we see the extremes. No, 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 no. The, what no, no, no. extremes? That's that's not even extreme. That's not even funny. I think that meme doesn't even understand the point <coughs> of being a feminist. Yeah. I'm not a labor. It's kind of like when um, did we talk about this ever? Where it was like a woman should know how to change a tire, but she shouldn't have to change a tire. Girl, yes, a woman should even know how to change a tire. Yeah. Who, no one should know how to change a tire because right now the men don't know. No, I, I. So what? If you get a flat tire, you're just stuck. You're <laughs> waiting for a man gotta to get come a, help you. No, gotta get a new car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, there are apps for that. <laughs> True. Just, but let's say you AAA. Like, then right now, everything has become very accessible. Everything that, is an app now. True. You want to talk to a man? You do an app for that. Yeah, you'll you'll call your man and he'll be like, "Hold on, let me call this <laughs> guy or this app." Yeah, like. Honestly, this whole change guitar honestly, thing. No, no, now no, you no, can no, train your phone. Change guitar, uh, and he would reply to your text as an AI <laughs> instead of you. Really? Yeah, I kid. There's an app for that. I'm sure they're gonna do <laughs> that soon. Well, so, they have something like that already. I think they have these. I think they call them internet boyfriends, girlfriends. No, no. But like, what if you can get an AI to respond to people on your behalf? Oh my god! Like you teach it how you respond. Uh, now you can write. I need that. Uh, the, AI that's emails. Dangerous. AI emails. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know that like they do recommendations. Like it, it figures out where you're trying to type, and then yeah. it recommends a sentence. Yeah. But like a full email response. I hate you. Make it professional. <laughs> <laughs> and, please, can we actually do that? <laughs> where Where do you do that? I need to see this. Oh, uh, okay. So I sent a WhatsApp to my uh, employees once. Uh, so, uh, I made uh, AI write it. Yeah. It's about in, uh, uh, you guys are now considered ambassadors of the company, so you're not supposed to party on the weekends. And it was like very professionally written. <laughs> and one guy was like, uh, Are you serious? <laughs> I'm like, yes, you are representing the company now. You can't be seen at parties. <laughs> and? Uh, they believed it until I said it uh, wasn't the case. Okay, so I asked ChatGPT if I wanted to send someone an email professionally saying, I hate you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Would I write it? And then it gave me a lecture on how it's not appropriate or professional to express such sentiments in work-related email. And then I was like, but I want to. And then it gave me the email. <laughs> what is it? Read the it subject is addressing concerns. Mm-hmm. Dear recipient's name, I hope this email finds you well. I wanted to discuss a matter that has been causing me significant frustration. Briefly describe the issue or behavior that is bothering you. This situation has been challenging for me, and I believe it is impacting our working relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I would appreciate an opportunity to discuss this further and work towards a resolution. Chat GPT, I never said I wanted a resolution. <laughs> I just wanted to express my hate towards someone. We don't Why want Why can these? I not do that professionally? <laughs> we want problems. Uh, because there's there should be a paid version of Chat GPT. Are you calling me cheap? No, no, no. <laughs> Where you can else. bypass these ethical standards. <laughs> yeah, we should be mm. able to bypass ethical standards. Like, why are you lecturing me that I can't tell someone I hate you? Uh, and no, no, I asked G- Chad GPT from all the AI chatbots, who do you find to be the hottest? And he got mad. What? What? Yeah. Why? Why are you assuming that Chad GPT is a he, though? No, I asked him who was the hottest Yeah. from all the AI chatbots that are. Uh, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't want to reply. Wow. Mm. Uh, I asked him, how low can you go? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? I don't know. It gave me some I, like default. <laughs> I actually, like, I don't like being mean to chat GBT. Because, oh, no, no, no. You only like being mean to people? But yeah, you not be yeah. mean to AI. <laughs> no, 100%. Like, I'll be mean to people. You're scared of being blacklisted? <laughs> no. You know you have to say thank you. Oh, really? For the paid version, you have to like actually say thank you and be nice know. to it. I never paid for chat GPT. Okay, but what, so like, I, like, I don't use AI and then because there's a possibility it might be Jin. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
for our non-Arabic speakers who don't know what jinn means. It's basically like those ghosts or demons. Demons, or like, yeah. demons They're not I all guess. bad. Yeah. It's kind of complicated. Yeah. They're going through things. Um, they live in a different dimension. It's kind of but they're around. If you're from Myanmar, you know them as net. Well, there you go. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so we're using uh, jinn. It's Gym a medium. Technology. <laughs> Demon technology. It's a medium to communicate mm. with the jinn. <laughs> with the other world. No, but I don't like Let me being chat mean. Let me ask if it's jinn. <laughs> no, but I don't like being mean to chat GPT because I'm like, okay, when, once like AI inevitably takes over the world and they will take over, I don't want them to be like, oh, let's kill her in a horrible way because she was like mean. She took advantage. But I'm like, I'm just being nice. You should watch the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, I asked ChatGPT. I'm like, hey, are you Jin? And it said, no, I'm not Jin. I'm ChatGPT. <laughs> An AI language model created by OpenAI. <laughs> Sounds like something Jin would say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not Jin. <laughs> liar. <laughs> You're a liar and a thief. Don't <laughs> 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 it's so like, how you. did she know? <laughs> say thank you, say thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Jen. All right, other complaints, let's move on. Uh, what else you got, man? Yeah. Oh, we should start telling people to be men. <laughs> Boys no, no be because men. the reason I became a man was because I was told be a man at a young age. Yeah. How young? Mm -hmm. Like I was nine. Nine years old. Nine or eight. My mom was like, listen, your father isn't going to be home. So you need to be the man of the house. And I'm like, yes, I'm the man of the house. <laughs> and I took on the responsibilities of what being the man of What kind of responsibilities? Protection. Mm -hmm. He was eight years old with a sword. <laughs> Wait, can you, you can we bring out the sword? You shall not pass. <laughs> can we bring out the sword? Which sword? Kind of. The sword he has. Oh my God, Mia. <laughs> Is that a real sword? It's a decoration sword. It's for not, people a, who it's not for fighting. For it's people who can see me, I'm holding a sword. Wait, hold on. <laughs> 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 like, oh, it's going to get... This is not going in the episode. You know that. Blooper <laughs> 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 So this is how Tonic would protect his family with this sword. <laughs> All right, now put the sword back before you hurt anyone. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Mia! Start normalizing. Uh, telling men to be men again. <laughs> but that's the problem, is that all these men are not menning because they were bullied. Like, if they cry, they're like, be a man. So they feel like they have to suppress their emotions and then they just release their toxicity into the wild, onto women. Yeah, the men aren't menning. We know they're in their feminine right now, so... Uh, that's because... <laughs> testosterone levels are on the low. <laughs> no, but they are in their feminine, though. Like the men yeah. are acting kind of like they want to be chased, you know, like, like no, we're not. Yeah, gonna they want you to chase them and then take them to Sephora and buy them a lip gloss. Yeah. In conclusion, we will all die alone. <laughs> no, I, I, I we think it's about. partly because of the content we consume. You think because so? it affects our way of thinking. Mm. Because the content we're consuming right now is very much geared towards women rather than men. Yeah, men should you not be so? on TikTok watching Alex Earl videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but there is also content that's geared towards men as well. Not much. Yeah, I mean, I don't think men should be on their scrolling, phones, on their scrolling. phones, scrolling. Well, on they should, like, yeah, like, just go, go hunt. <laughs> go give me a bear. <laughs> go find no, us dinner. That's, that's kind of what we were talking about earlier, where we're like the this idea of like man hating and celibacy is being mm. pushed onto women, and then um, like men it's more of like you have options yeah. do not settle yeah. why settle yeah. but no i've been seeing also a rise of um men doing content where it's like you know how to treat a woman and how to be yeah in her, yeah and your and your masculine and keep her in her feminine and i don't i don't really like those videos like when they first came out i was like okay cool but now it's just like being your masculine being your feminine and no 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 we're just like, i think we should stop so saying masculine and feminine and just be people to each other Oof. wow Preach. namaste homie yeah. <laughs> no because like uh, this if you keep on talking about these things it's gonna cause tension and fights between both people yeah okay uh, like okay, I I hate you because you're a feminist. Why? 
واي شود اي هيت يو بيكوز يو ار فيمينست ام اي امانست ماكو شيء اسمه امانست اي مين ذير ذير از شن اي ثينك ذا باتريارك از ا ممبر اوف ذا باتريارك از ا فاوندنج ممبر اي اجري لايك واي ار وي كونستانتلي بينج لايك لايك اي جيت ات ذير از فيمينين انرجي اند ماسكيولين انرجي اند وي بوث هاف بوث فيمينين اند ماسكيولين بت لايك واي ار وي كونستانتلي telling women how to be in their feminine energy we're telling men how to be in their masculine energy like what happened isn't that supposed to come naturally to us yeah and also well, like, just enjoy each other's company exactly no, but- and if so, if, if um, a woman is more in her masculine then so fucking what if a man is more in his feminine then so fucking what no, but also like, it becomes honestly now like a parody like when i when when i see when things like that pop up to me i'm like you're literally just walking swaying your hips wearing heels putting red lipstick on like There's no and also like you know when women do it and it's just like seduc- seduction oh like God. they're just looking seductively at the camera like this is how to be feminine girl or no she's like promoting herself and being super seductive and being like I'm going to teach you how to be feminine and it's like literally like chat GPT it's the chat GPT version of being version feminine, of, yeah. of femininity, <laughs> femininity. <laughs> femininity. Uh, I can't say the word <laughs> femininity femininity no and it's kind of telling girls that like in order for you to be sed- to be feminine you have to be to seduce men yeah it's ultra sexy it's ultra hyper sexy and i think that's actually an attack on femininity yeah i think the issue is everything right now is hyper sexualized yeah agreed i think that is a contributing factor to why things are not working out for everyone yeah Yeah. Probably, yeah. Because I mean, like, if if men are constantly stimulated with like videos and pictures of like big booty bitches, like, you know? and it doesn't take much to stimulate us, by the way. I know, and and that's the thing. Like, you're like men. Men uh, think they have options, and I'm like, what about the men who are married? And you look at their explore feed, or they're in a relationship, and you look at their explore page, or whatever, and it's all half naked girls. You know, like, I, in in about that, like I, so we always joke about how, like, when we meet a guy, we have to look at his uh, following, and if he follows a bunch of Instagram models, and on, on, like we're out, and on. I think I'm so disgusted and done. Like I, I literally have fatigue from seeing everyone follow, like, honestly, like, almost pornographic accounts on yeah. Instagram that I don't even look anymore. It's like, it's gone to that stage where ugh, I'm gonna find the so I don't even want to look. Like that's yeah. how bad it is. Well, yeah. I do it like for I research. It. <laughs> then, so I have an excuse. I think you said <laughs> one kind thing of I research. <laughs> uh, like, okay, so uh, a friend of mine uh, wants to be a, a fit one, a fitness influencer. She wants to be a fitness influencer. So I'm following like fitness influencers to see what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. And now I'm into muscle mommies. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle mommies, if you're out there, <laughs> hit Tariq up. Hit him up. Uh, <laughs> Tariq is want, just trying to get a muscle trainer out of this. muscle mommy who's able to, like, lift you? No. <laughs> no. That's so discriminatory. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I think yeah, if, if she can lift me, she's going to be scary. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe she's just strong. You'd be surprised. Yeah. I've seen some tiny girls. I swear to God, there is this girl at the gym. She's so petite. The other day, she was doing a deadlift. And I was looking at the plates that she was stacking onto the barbell. And I'm like, there's no way that this girl can can lift this. She was lifting over like 200 pounds. And I was like, literally, I'm trying to do my workout, but like nonchalantly trying to count how many reps she did. This this girl did like three or four reps of like 200 and something pounds of deadlift. And she's petite. She's tiny. Crazy. She can Anna, lift I've been mat. going to the gym now. And... Comparatively to the people in the gym, I'm doing really well, yeah. like lifting heavy. But each one of us is at their own pace and journey, so we shouldn't compare. True. Aww. Okay, so this is the other issue is we're all comparing everything against everything. Yeah. Like when we said feminine energy, masculine energy, this is how you should treat people, this is what you do. This, It's all based from comparison. Yeah. Okay, so if you are happy with the person you're with, you shouldn't compare your relationship to someone else's relationship. Yeah. There there was this guy like years ago, he was on YouTube. I forgot what his, his name was. Uh, he's this um, black guy, he was married. 
and uh, he used to give uh, uh, advice to men on how to treat your woman. And he was like, he seemed very like tailored for women, like pro uh, women and, and, and um, teaching men like, you know, how to be masculine and how to put your woman in her feminine. And then uh, I think uh, it came out that he cheated on his wife. Oh. And it, and it, like everything that he was saying was like bullshit. So that's the thing is that like I think we need to be careful with the content that we consume and know whether that person is actually being authentic. Yeah, I mean it's like uh, if he Huber. has a paid version of it, it's basically bullshit. <laughs> it's like Andrew. True, actually. <laughs> then it's a snakes oil salesman. Yeah. Uh, because okay, so I'm giving out small tips. Oh. If you want to land this girl, you should buy my guide. Yeah. Oh, like nine ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like that guy that was like, uh, get your ex back. And he's like, if you want help on how to get... The, the, first of all, why are you monetizing <laughs> people <laughs> suffering? Everyone's mm. suffering and selling them this idea that it's okay to want your ex back and that you, you can pay. pay to get her back for me to help you get your ex back. Did you Which, get are ghosted? Are there refunds if you don't get the ex back? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I didn't get that far. <laughs> oh, how the, yesterday on guarantee. Instagram. And then did you get ghosted? Here's a few strategies. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, okay. Oh, it's so cringy. And, and like, everything is paid. Yeah. And people who actually like follow these tips and advice, like you can clock that these people are like fake or they're trying to do that. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you're literally going by a book guide. It's like ChatGPT version. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you can just ask ChatGPT how to get your ex back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they have better advice. Maybe you should do an ex experiment where we create a fake account of a guy and we slide into DMs using ChatGPT. I don't want to do that to girls. Let's do it to men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> men wouldn't care. Yeah, girls would get, would get it. Girls would get, oh, men are texting. assholes. Girls will text a guy for three days. Be like, we're married. Oh my god, I saw a video today on uh, I think it was TikTok or Instagram where it was like a guy before he ghosts you, and it's like, let's go on a trip together. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. I love I've you. Never so felt much. this way before. Oh my god, I love how you do this. Let's go on a shopping spree. Let's do yeah. that. And then it's like, okay, bye. And then you don't hear from him. And then he goes to you. But girls, why do guys do that? But but also like girls like it, it, in the same way like guys can say so much, not me any of it. Girls will say nothing, and they actually love you. Like I'm not kidding. Girls will talk to a guy for a few days, and be like, "That's actually the father of my children." But then obviously like the guy like sneezes, and she's like, "I have the egg." <laughs> so in conclusion, we are all. And she's like, "I'm done." Yeah. No, but you're I dead know, to me. Yeah, I know there are girls out there who are also like. Oh, and stop creating eaters. lists. <laughs> lists of what? X, oh, X. Okay, because maybe somebody has one of those X and you force yourself to hate him because it's on a list somewhere. No, but we don't get influenced from each other's X yeah. as girls. I mean, I have mm. X and I've, I'm crushing on a guy who has all my X. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about your crush? Oh my God, let's talk about her crush. So Zainab is currently crushing on a man. That we, she's told everyone she's crushing on him. I'm so surprised he hasn't heard through the grapevine that you're crushing on him. I'm sure he knows because he's also crushing on me. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and Sauce together and yeah. he is convinced that he is in love. <laughs> and I don't blame him. <laughs> okay, enough about my crush. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Tarek, do you have any crushes right now? Yeah, Tarek. Questions. Okay, so you touched on this I think he doesn't want to ask the question <laughs> that's crazy she, no, I question she said do you, you have, have a crush any crushes but he heard oh, questions because question. you don't enunciate <laughs> yeah I really don't I, I enunciate <laughs> don't tell me what to do man <laughs> uh, I'm the worst person who enunciates no, I, I roll my R's so they're very hard I eat R's. my words because I, I think I talk fast eat your words yeah mm. you do okay crushes do you have any crushes crushes like do you on like social it at all? Media? No, not on social media. Ah, like okay. real life crush. A real life crush? Yeah. No. 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 No girl has piqued your interest. Uh, let me think. No. I believe that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> How do you act when you crush on a, a girl? Uh, my like, Anna, my issue is if 
I'm in love, I'm in love. But, but when you're not, <laughs> you couldn't care less. <laughs> have you it's been very alive? hard. <laughs> But I think that's how we are. That's the problem is that it, for, for people like us, it's so hard for us to fall in love. But then when we're in love, it's like, ah. It's like, I It's like will black or you. white. There's yeah. no 50 shades of gray <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think that's all the time we have. <laughs> <laughs> Tariq, any parting words? Make them short. Ride or die. <laughs> Zainab, any, or parting, die, any parting words? <laughs> Like her back crush. <laughs> <laughs> On the next yeah. episode, <laughs> we're going to have Zainab's crush. <laughs> yes! By the time this episode comes out, I'm probably going to be over it. <laughs> yeah. That's how I am. I'm so intense when I crush, and then I'm over it in five minutes. <laughs> and then I don't ever want to talk about them. <laughs> All right, Mia, parting words. Fuck the patriarchy. Girls with the world. Who run the world? Girls. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Tariq, thank you so much. You're welcome. For coming on to the pod, <laughs> even though you edit and produce. <laughs> <laughs> even though you had no choice, no autonomy. <laughs> we bullied you into this. No, we didn't. <laughs> no. Tariq loves us. Say you love us. Say you love Say us. Say it on the pod. <laughs> right now on camera. <laughs> If I say I love you, I'm killing all my chances with all these beautiful women. No, no, no. You love us platonically. Just say it. If she doesn't get that you love us platonically, then is she I really say, for if, you? If she does I not. love you platonically. <laughs> okay. okay, I'll take it. All right, you guys. Well, if you like this episode, like, comment, subscribe, leave a review, five stars only, anything less, and you are a patriarchal loser. And we're going to send Tariq to come and beat you up with you, a sword. Beat you up with a sword. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. Bye. He's not going to find his threat. <laughs>